In today's Real Estate Real Talk, we are talking all about millennial buyers. Now, right now, they make up the largest demo for home buyers, according to the National Association of Realtors. More than 45 million millennials will be at the prime age, between 25 and 35, for buying their first home in 2022. But with the insane amount of competition for housing, it's making it increasingly difficult for young prospective buyers to nail down the deeds. Los Angeles real estate agent Carrie White joining me right now to break this all down. Carrie, first of all, just yikes. I hear you. Yikes. Yes. What, what is any buyer in need of a home for who is in the market doing right now? You said it right. Us millennials are taking over. Well, yeah. with this market, we are definitely trying. So the first thing we need to talk about is what millennials are actually doing to get into a home. It's a great question. You wouldn't believe the things us millennials are doing to get into a home. One in six millennials would be willing to offer 100000 or more above the asking price of their dream home. Nearly half of millennials, 46%, expect to max out their budget when buying a home. And one third, 33%, are planning to purchase a home that costs more than the median U.S. average price. Now, we should probably define what a starter home is and what it looks like for millennials because it's a little different and also where they're looking matters, right? Right. Well, millennials are much more likely than any of their generation to purchase a house that requires extensive repairs and cares. Uh, one in four do, they end up feeling a little anxious about it. Why? They're trying to build wealth and they're very concerned about this market going forward. So they're really stretching themselves to get into these homes. Millennials have long been painted as a generation doomed to be eternally broke and renting forever because they're spending all their money on avocado toast, valet parking, mineral water, green juice smoothies, Pilates. But there's one segment of this generation that's def- buying all the stereotypes. Their starter home, like you were just saying, Natalie, isn't quite such a starter home. They are buying homes that are the multi-million dollar luxury category. They're starter homes that we're used to growing up with. It's that traditional first humble property, right? Start your family, trade up. Well, right now, millennials are coming out of the gate, and it's not uncommon for their first time home buyer purchase to be a multi-million dollar luxury home in the U.S. or even internationally. And trust me, at inspections, their parents aren't too happy. (laughs) Bloomberg states, rather than purchasing in expensive cities like New York or San Fran, millennials are buying their first homes in smaller places like Austin, Texas, Aspen, Colorado, for example. So it is definitely clear, millennials, they are looking to buy, as you put it. But you put together this really great list of what millennials are looking for in their new home. And the first thing we have to start with is location. Right. Goes across real estate time, location, location, location. Millennials want a great location. And some things never change. Any generation you have, the importance of location. And research has shown that millennials especially with COVID, they want to live close to work and things to do. It's a huge deciding factor for them when they're looking for a home. And outdoor spaces, of course, another COVID proponent. 75% of millennials want that relaxing outdoor space, including amenities like vegetable gardens, deck fences. I don't know about you, are you growing anything in your backyard? I know we are (laughs) after COVID. Somewhere where it's comfortable for them to hang out with a friend or have their green juice smoothie. The other thing is, speaking of smoothies, a big kitchen. Millennials value community more so than ever. Cooking, entertaining, that large kitchen, open floor plan, complete with kitchen island, formal seating. They're huge selling points for millennials in this new post-COVID world that we are living in. You know, speaking of modern kitchens, modern amenities, who doesn't want everything new, new, new? Space, actually, you'd be surprised. It isn't the biggest concern for millennials. They want their homes to come more flexible, high, modern, high-functioning amenities. This includes items like upgraded systems. I mean, surprisingly, dishwashers and washer dryers are on the list um, and spaces to exercise. Speaking of Alexa, shh, quiet. What's next on the list? Home automation. <laughs> Really be quiet. (laughs) Home automation is another amenity that piques the interest of millennials. Many want the ability to interact with their homes just like they do their smartphone, right? We're doing everything like this, so why can't our whole 
whole home be like that? You know, varying levels of smart homes like automated security, heating, lights, the list goes on. If you're a seller right now and you want to appeal to this millennial generation, start thinking about ways to make your home more tech savvy. A lot of things to think about when looking for a home and a lot of things that you're saying that millennials definitely want. And surprisingly enough, some things that may be of concern that our parents had, but not so much for all of us. Carrie, some great advice today. We'll definitely see you again next week because a lot of information coming from you that we all need to know, especially buyers and sellers going both ways. Make sure you guys are following her for all your real estate news on Instagram. It's at Carrie Ann, Carrie Ann. And then you subscribe to her YouTube channel, which is Carrie White Real Estate.